Hello, it's Chris Voss here from the Chris Voss Show .com, the Chris Voss Show .com. We took a look and reviewed the iPad Mini on the first day of launch at the Apple Store. We didn't bother to go buy one or order one. Uh, we really want to see what the Retina display or the lacking of the Retina display look like. Um, and you can see here that we're doing some measurements. We're showing what the difference is in the screen. It's really not that much from what you have for a normal iPad um, in the difference in the quality of the screen. It's definitely lighter. It's definitely thin and uh, very cool, very fun to hold. The most disappointing part is the Retina display. Um, and really, you know, for an, you're saving maybe an inch, uh, an inch and a half or something off of the iPad. Um, it's a great little device. Whether or not you need to have it if you own an iPad already is a real big question because after I looked at it, I said, look, I have an iPad. I don't need this thing. Um, it, uh, without the retina display, the first thing you do when you see it, it looks like some kind of cheap knockoff. Um, the screen's okay, but uh, it, it looks weird when you're used to looking at an iPad. Um, it runs a little kind of sluggish compared to what I'm used to with my iPad. Uh, it's not sluggish sluggish, but it's definitely a step down in the speed, uh, which is interesting because I think the chips are the same in the original uh, new iPad 3 that I have. Uh, other than that, it was pretty cool. It seemed to work fairly well. Uh, there was a couple games that played very well. You can see here we played uh, Metal Storm Wingmen, and the performance of the graphics were pretty good. Um, it, uh, you know, it's not bad. I think really who this tablet is designed for, it's not designed for iPad users and people who can afford iPads. It's really designed for those, uh, those price sensitive people who uh, want to step into the Apple product. This is, might be their first foray. 329 bucks or whatever it is, is, a, is their, uh, you know, what they, their budget can afford and they can get it going on. I do think it's smart on Apple's part to have this as a part of the product line. Uh, I think it's dumb that it doesn't have retina display. I mean, the iPod Touch that just came out has got retina display and it's a much smaller screen. But I imagine that will come in the future and give them excuses to have more upgrades. Um, but other than that, I mean, we really liked it. If you have an iPad, don't bother. That's my opinion. Um, you know, why, you know, if you have an iPad, just cut an inch off your iPad and then you'll have this thing. And you'll probably still have retina display, assuming the screen still works when you hacksaw it off. So anyway, that's my take on it. It's a great little device. If you don't have an iPad, if you do, don't bother. Uh, thanks for coming by the Show.com. Be sure to check back often.